million though. They were like, hey, three million? That's how y'all feel? Huh? Three million two thousand eight hundred and thirty-five? That's how y'all feeling though. Man, look, man. First of all, I hope y'all like click on this video. Thinking I was letting letting y'all out the hook, right? Y'all y'all thought I was gonna let y'all out. Yeah, my Twitter gang, no life gang on Twitter. Y'all already knew, bro. What's wrong with you niggas, bro? What is wrong with you niggas? Why would y'all hit three mil while I was out of town? Y'all know damn well we go live every time we hit another mil. See what y'all did? Y'all want to hit three mil on Mother's Day. Knowing I was with my beautiful mom. You ugly, beautiful mother. Bro. <laughs> hey, real talk though, man. Real talk, bro. I was going to go live and, and, and do this. But I was like, man. I was like, it, it won't be the same as like seeing the countdown to three mil. So I decided to just put it on the screen so y'all can see it. But uh, y'all know, y'all know, no matter how high that number right there go, I'm always going to be the same old Shaq, bro. It's never going to change, bro. No matter how many times y'all tell me I change or try to act like I change. I'm never going to change, bro. Y'all going to be trying for the rest of y'all life. I'm never going to change. But look, this is a thank you video, man. This is strictly a thank you video slash motivational video. Y'all know it's Monday. And I got a, oh, I got a DM I'm about to pull up in a few minutes after I talk to y'all. So y'all stick around for the whole video. If y'all don't watch no other video, watch this one, bro. But look, man. Like I said, no matter how high that number right there go, I would never change on y'all, bro. Like, y'all might see the content change a little bit. That's only to keep growing, bro. If you stay in one box, you always going to stay in the same place. Now, now what I will say that changed about me is my circumstances, my surroundings. All that did change, but me as a person, me, my morals and principles never would change. You should expect your favorite content creator to change as his life get better. His or her life get better. Whether it's one person or more than one person on that channel, you should expect them to eventually change long as they change it in a good way. And I feel like for the three years I've been on YouTube, well, it's going on four. For the three and a half years I've been on YouTube, I feel like I haven't changed at all. Now, like I said, my content have changed. Like, y'all know I started with the UK. And then I started doing American reactions. Now, that's not changing. That's not considered changing. That's knowing what's going to make me grow. The, I knew at the time the UK had a small market. I knew they had a small market. And I always knew in the back of my head, if I changed up my content to American music, I knew I would blow up. So, when I got fired from that job, I had no choice. So, I switched up my content. Within two weeks, I got my first viral video, and it's been going crazy ever since. It's like it was meant to happen, bro. Now, as far as my UK fans, for all y'all that's still here and don't care what I react to, y'all some real niggas, man. This video is for y'all, man. Like, I, bro, how y'all be proud of me, I be just as much as proud for y'all, bro. Because y'all didn't have to stick with me for this long. Especially my UK fans. For the ones that are still here. It's a lot of y'all still here. It's over 100,000, 200,000 of y'all still here. Now look, I'm finna pull up this, this DM right here, man. But I just want to let y'all know, like, I do not take this for granted at all. I never will. I never will. Just to name a few things YouTube have helped me do. First of all, 
YouTube helped me take care of my whole family. That's the most important thing. We ain't gonna talk about the cars, the jewelry, the houses. Uh, we, we, I'm gonna get to that. But that's the number one thing with me, bro. YouTube has allowed me to take care of my entire family. Not just the ones in the house with me. Not just my two sons and JoJo and me. My entire family, bro. My whole family. My whole family. Now, that's the number one thing I'm grateful for is it allowed me to take care of my entire family. Now, to the stuff that, that y'all niggas care about. Like, I know a lot of y'all care about uh, the well-being of my family, but I, I know I got a lot of younger fans watching too, and I know y'all care about the cars, the money, the chains, the watches. Y'all care about all that, bro. I don't really care. I got it, but I don't really care about it. Like, it don't define me. But, hey, it allowed me to get every dream car I ever had. I got one more dream car. I got one more dream car. I'm not going to get it to a couple years from now. But I got one more dream car that I want to get. But, look, besides the cars, like, it allowed me to, to purchase land. Everything I post, people be like, Shaq, buy some land, buy some land. I've been buying land for three years, man. Come on, man. Like, it, I, I have, how many? I have five and a half acres of, acres of land. I have five and a half. I just purchased some last month. But look, I got land. Uh, I just closed. Well, we ain't closed yet. We, we, try, we finna get our closing date. For the new house. We finna get the clothes. And I'm finna rent this house out. So it, it it allowed me to buy my dream house. Now it ain't no mansion or nothing. I never wanted no mansion. But but it's it, it's up there. It's up there. But look. Y'all gonna see that soon. But other than that man. I know I'm just ranting. But let me pull up this DM right here. Now. Y'all know this is Motivational Mondays. And I got to show y'all this right here. Let me get that out of the way. Look. It's from Polo G. Now. Don't worry about the picture right here. That was just Polo tagging me or something. Now look. Now look what I asked Polo G. I know a lot of y'all look up to Polo G, man. Like, he, he's a person you should look up to. Like, bro is on top of the world right now. But look. I said, hey, bro, what's your biggest fear? What was your biggest fear when you first started rapping? Because I wanted to know. Like, I, I, I was going to DM a lot of rappers that I knew would respond, but I DM Polo G first because I knew he he's lit right now. He's on top of the world. It, it don't get no bigger than Polo G, right? Like, right now at this moment, it don't get no bigger than Polo G. So, I asked Polo G. He responded right away. Now, he responded like uh, about like two and a half, three hours later. And he said, my biggest fear was me changing with the lifestyle. I didn't want to become a new person from the fame and the money. Bro, how can you not like Polo G? How can you not like this nigga after this, after this reply right here? And bro, and I knew bro was telling the truth. Because even Polo G, even when I was smaller and I first had reacted to Polo G, he would reach out. He would reach out to me and let me know he appreciate the reaction. Now, fast forward down the road. Now I get paid. Polo G allows me to get paid from those reactions. He didn't have to do that. And that and that and those are just examples of how Polo G didn't let the fame and the money get to his head, bro. This nigga is the number one artist in the world right now. He didn't even drop his album yet. And he responded with that. Bro, that's the definition of humble right there. And I said, hey, bro, you standing on it too. I said, you got real niggas rooting for you. Keep applying pressure. Because I got little homies back in my hometown. They love Polo G, bro. They love Polo G. I know I got I got homies in jail that love Polo G. Like, they rooting for him for real. 
And look, that's what I want to show y'all, man. Even a person on Polo G level, he still find his way to be humble. Like, being humble, it's not something that you can just literally say or do. It's just something that's in you, bro. Being humble got to be in you. It ain't something. You can also learn to be humble, but I feel like true humbleness, it comes from within, bro. It, it's just there. You don't even got to try. And that's exactly what I strive to do right there. I didn't want the numbers from YouTube, the views, the subscriber count, the money, the recognition. I didn't want none of that to change me. I didn't want none of that to change me. So that's what I stand on every day, man. I hope y'all can take something out of this video. Again, I want to tell y'all thank you for three mil, bro. I want to tell y'all thank you. My goal has always been four mil since I started. So when we get to four mil, I feel like I can I can relax just a little bit when we hit four mil. So we finna grind hard to four mil. Y'all know go sub to the uh, second channel, More Life Shack. Y'all finna see me doing a lot of reactions over there. I just been busy with all this house buying process. So y'all finna see a lot more videos over there. And y'all know we're going to stay going crazy over here. So, hey, make sure y'all go sub over there, man. Again, I want to thank y'all for three mil, man. I love y'all. Go.